Hey guys, here we are in lesson 17 of video one, lesson 17, module three. And as you can see on the screen, we have a tape diagram. It's labeled $60 and it has five sections. So think about an expression that you could write for this tape diagram somewhere on a piece of paper, you know, in the beginning of your notes for lesson 17, write down an expression. Thinking about what you've been learning in the last couple lessons. Okay. Thinking about that tape diagram, thinking about an expression. Maybe you're thinking about 60 divided by five. Yeah, because we have five equal parts and we have 60. All right, that makes sense. So our unknown is one of those equal parts. All right, maybe you're thinking about one fifth times 60 because there's five equal parts. So one of them would be one fifth, one fifth of, remember that the multiplication means of, so one-fifth of 60. All right, and we notice that we have dollars here. So let's think about a real-life scenario that matches this tape diagram. What is a real-life scenario that you could use? Hmm, maybe I went to the store and I had $60 and I spent one-fifth on chocolate. How much money did I spend on just chocolate? Or if we're going to think about 60 divided by 5, maybe I bought five copies of the same book for our classroom library and it cost a total of $60. How much did each book cost? 60 divided by 5. Awesome. All right, and what is the answer to both of these problems, 60 divided by 5 and 1 fifth of 60? Well, you might remember that 5 times 12 is 60. Very good. Okay, and although each problem has a different context, we used different expressions to evaluate. Each problem is represented by this tape diagram and has the same answer, right? So today we're going to solve word problems involving fractions with multiplication and division. And let's go to our next slide, which is number one in your book. All right, so hopefully you have your book out and you're working on it already. And if not, you can pause me, go ahead and get your book out. So number one says, Ms. Baker has four yards of fabric. It takes one fourth of a yard to make a pencil pouch. Does Miss Baker have enough, enough fabric to make one pencil pouch for each of her 24 students? Explain how you know. All right, so let's read it one more time. She has four yards of fabric. She needs one fourth of a yard for each pencil pouch. Does she have enough to make 24 pencil pouches or one for each student. All right, so let's think about this. Is there something that we could draw to show this? Let's think about a tape diagram. Okay, I'm thinking about her four yards of fabric, right? Hmm, but I'm also thinking about 24 pencil pouches and each one taking one fourth of a yard. So I could start, whoops, I could start by not erasing my tape diagram. Okay, so I could start thinking about how each pencil pouch, pouch needs one fourth of a yard, right? Okay and that I'm going to need how many one-fourths of a yard? I'm going to need 24 of them, right? 
24 fourths. And I know that I have four yards, but you notice how it's asking me, does she have enough fabric? So I could check and see how much fabric this will take. And then I can compare it to four yards. That will work. I could try it that way. Okay. So I have 24. times one fourth because I'm taking one fourth of 24 and that would be 24 fourths and if I divide 24 by 4 then I have 6 which would be 6 yards Hmm. So does she have enough fabric? No, she does not have enough fabric. I wonder if you were thinking about doing it another way. What if we made a tape diagram? I'm going to try and put it over here a little bit. What if we made a tape diagram to show our four yards? This is how much we have four yards. Okay. And one fourth is how much I need for one. And since I have four yards, then I can break this into four parts and break each of my fourths into four, right? three lines, makes four parts. Okay, so that would be how many fourths are in four, right? How many fourths are in four? And I can see here that I have four, 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 and four. So four times four is 16. So that means I have 16 fourths. Do I have enough? No, because I need 24 of them, right? Think about which one of those feels, um, makes the most sense to you, right? Um, and which one you would maybe want to use, right? Which one do you like? Okay, let's check out the way some people did it. Make sure you have this written down. If not, pause me and do it now. All right, let's check this out. Okay. Make that a little bit bigger for you there. Okay, so in this example, very similar to what we did, right? Yeah, in fact, that's exactly what we did, right? Oh, this is exactly what we did with the 24 fourths, right? But the four yards are not part of the story, but we don't need to have the four yards because we're showing that six yards is more than four yards and she needs six yards. Okay, there's another way to do it. Here's the second way we did it, right? Four yards, how many fourths? Show how many fourths it is. It's 16 fourths. It's not enough fourths, right? Okay. So basically we have two different ways that we could do it. Sorry, just trying to find it for you. Yuna's way and Toby's way. Here we go. We have Yuna's way 
and we have Toby's Way. Toby is saying, how many fourths are in four? And Yuna is saying, how many yards is 24 fourths? Both of them show that she doesn't have enough, right? Okay. I think that's pretty good. Two different ways to solve the problem, two different ways to look at it, but we're still making sense. All right, thanks. I'll see you in the next video. Aloha.